Welcome back, people. In this video, we're going to continue our stories with World War I, and we are going to point out a call-out I heard not too long ago. That call-out is Clitoris Rock. And those of you that play on a regular basis know call-outs help communicate with your teammates quickly by identifying a specific part of a map. So, I will go back and forth between the story, the story is short, and this gameplay. You're also going to see some decent paybacks, and a payback that, yeah, didn't work so well for me. Alright, 1914. This one's titled Christmas Truce. Christmas Day, 1914, saw millions of young men facing each other in a double line of trenches several hundred yards apart that snaked hundreds of miles across Europe. These soldiers had seen some desperate fighting in the opening months of World War I, and plenty more lay ahead. But on this particular day, peace seemed to break out all over. In violation of orders, British and German soldiers climbed out of their trenches waving flags of truce and made their way into no man's land to celebrate Christmas with their enemies. Leaving the horror of war behind for one day, they shared Christmas pudding and belted out songs together. They exchanged toasts and traded cigarettes and food. Most peculiar Christmas I've ever spent and ever likely to, scribbled one British soldier in his diary. In one place along the line, German soldiers from Saxony were fraternizing with Scottish Highlanders when one of the Scots brought out a soccer ball. A few minutes later, a full-fledged soccer game was underway on the frozen turf of no man's land. Men who had been trying to kill each other just the day before, played enthusiastically for more than an hour. A German lieutenant, Jonathan Niemann, wrote home about the game. We Germans really roared when a gust of wind revealed that the Scots wore no drawers under their kilts. The game finished with a score of three goals to two, in favor of Fritz against Tommy. The next day, the impromptu truce ended as quickly as it became, began, and the men who had celebrated together returned to the ugly, ugly job of killing each other. So ends today's story of World War I. Now, initially I had no idea how those mines blew up, but this map, which is typical of this map, uh, a lot of guys parachuting off of the, what do you call it, skyscrapers. There you go, there's some words for you. And here's my favorite payback. That's the gentleman that killed me on the bridge, spawn in on Bubba, who's about to get stabbed, and I'm able to take him out. Now, here is the call out I heard, or, wait, I gotta back up, sorry. <laughs> Didn't preview my clips. Here's a real good example of do not chase the enemy. Yeah, for me anyway, when I do that, it's pretty much a losing proposition, but I spawn in on Bubba because he's close by and take a look at who's in front of me. There you go. Payback. Okay, we are approaching Clitoris Rock, where a bad guy has penetrated our Clitoris Rock, and Bubba must finish him off with his big gun. Which reminds me, tanks, people. Tanks. We all know tanks in Battlefield 4 aren't the greatest, you know, oh my god, scary things. Battlefield 1, supposedly the tanks are going to be stronger. They're going to be an, oh my god, it's a tank kind of setup. So, and I know this is going to happen. The community, I'm sure, because the tanks are going to be much stronger, much tougher, the community's going to complain, overpowered, overpowered. Come on, people, just get used to it, learn to adapt to it, keep the darn tanks strong, and just come up with strategies to defeat them. Don't bitch about it. Okay, but I have a feeling you guys will. You guys be in the community. All right, well, here comes an oh shit moment. I come face to face with four enemies, and I'm hoping to get all four of them. All right, Rocket does one. Hopefully the grenade, even if I die, the grenade does, but that tank, who was destroyed also, picks up at least two of the three remaining guys. Alrighty, folks, short video as usual. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, people, play hard. Life is just too damn short not to. You all take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.